If we want to take a more concrete look at a specific example, uh, we can talk about a specific business. So in this example, I'm going to talk about a, vet, a vet's office that is targeting new customers. So vets can only choose to mail postcards to residents with pets so as not to waste time and money sending postcards to people without pets. If they were to use variable data to do this, they can use um, a spreadsheet that has information that's collected on people that have pets. And so when they're sending out their postcards, they can choose only send it to people who have pets. And by only putting addresses onto their postcards or variable data printing addresses onto their postcards, for people who have pets, they're using variable data as a marketing tool for their benefit. They can take it one step further, and vets can personalize the postcard artwork and message to match the type of pets at each residence. So if someone was to send a postcard to me and try to get my business, I have cats, so my postcard would have a cat on it. They could take it one step further, and they could put a gray cat on to my postcard because if they have the information or the knowledge that my cat is gray, I'm more likely to look at that postcard because it has something that's personalized to me. They can take it one step further and they can personalize the information being conveyed. So vets can then choose to only send postcards to existing clients who are overdue for a checkup and on the postcard they can put a picture of the service or the words of the service onto the postcard. So if my cat is overdue for heartworm pill or something like that, they can send a postcard that says, hey, your cat, and they can insert the name and put a picture of a gray cat, is overdue for their annual checkup. Please come in today. And then they can add your specific pet's name. So they could even, on a photo, like let's say the, the postcard had a photo of dog tags or a cat tag um, where it has the animal's name. They could put, my cat's name is Tutu, they could put Tutu onto the picture without really a lot of effort um, because there are automations that can Photoshop text into an image if you wanted to variable data that aspect of your design. And then I'm more likely to read it because it has my cat's actual name attached. Here are some examples of items that are printed using variable data that I found on the internet. And you can see that in most cases, it's kind of a simple adjustment, right? So in the top right-hand corner, we have postcards that have different information. So we have a name. We have Andre, Jesse, Monica, and Valerie. There is a discount, which is the same for everyone. Scan the code and you'll get 20% off. And then there's a personalized image for each person. So there are mountain pictures and snow pictures and different things. And they are able to variable data or automate the changes in those postcards using variable data. So they can change the name of the person, they could even change the discount, they can change the word of the discount that says you get 20% or 30% or 15% off, and by changing that data, they can also change the code that's on the back of the postcard that you can't see. So when they scan it, if you get a postcard that has 20% off, when you scan the code, it's a 20% off code. Uh, and then they also change the image. So you can variable data or variable change the images. So the same thing happened on the left hand side. We have two postcards that are going out and one is targeting females and one is targeting males. And you can see at the bottom they have a URL and it's suit sale for Joe or suit uh, dress sale for Jane and the photograph changed. So if they're sending it to someone who would wear a suit, it would have a picture of someone wearing a suit. And if they are sending it to someone who would wear a dress, it has a picture of someone who might be wearing a dress. It also changed the name that you see. So in the little text around the yellow bracket, you have Joe, today you need to take advantage of our exceptional special offer. And it says the same thing on the other postcard, but now it says Jane. And so they can change every aspect of this, and they can pull all that information from a spreadsheet. So if I was sending this to somebody who wore corporate attire, the people in the photographs could be wearing corporate etiquette like they are right now. Or if somebody wore business casual at their office, I could change the photograph and say that person is known to work in an office that's business casual, change the photograph so it shows a business casual example. So you can variable data pretty much anything in the design and as long as you have all the information needed. So they need to know for the vet that my name is Jessica, my cat's name is Tutu, she is a senior cat, she is gray, 
blah, 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 blah. Um, as long as they have that information, they can easily plug that in to anything that they're going to print and then send to me. Here are some additional examples, and you can see that we're getting we're getting more personalized here. If you look at the example in the top right hand corner, we can change the color of the background. We can change the imagery that appears. Is it an umbrella, a key, or a suitcase? It changes the name that's receiving it, Acme Company, John Smith, Sally Rye, and all the information below that can be personalized as well. We've once again in the bottom right hand corner changed names and things like that. And on the left hand side, you can variable data an entire design. So you can see in this example they wanted to change the gender, the color, the photos, and the names depending on who signed up for whatever they were producing.